Hello guys, in today's tutorial and in the next ones we'll be making a new player with more mechanics and with the different sprites because you can see this this one is actually real real ugly and is really buggy also so I made a new player in Photoshop based on the player of Electronic Superjoy this here is our moving uh, cycle this one this last one is like the breaking when he goes back to idle, but we'll get that then later. Anyways, uh, you can get the sprites in the internet. Uh, check the description and just copy this to the player to idle and the player to moving to the Unity sprites. And once they are there, we're going to make the same that, that we did to all the other sprites, which was changing their their filter mode to point, this to compressed, this we're going to make it 10, because 10 is a bit bigger. And in this ones, which are the not the idle, the um, moving, we will divide them, and it will be. 20 by 20 slice them up and now we have our sprites ready to use I'm going to drag the idle sprites of our new player and we're going to start making him now what we what we need first to do is to give it some physics 2D so let's give him a G body 2D and make it a fixed angle so that it doesn't collide it doesn't roll over edit also a box collider 2D which will be on his feet so that he can climb uh, ramps like so we can change it later on and edit a box collider to the rest of the body you can change the box collider by dragging these handles over here like this and there you go now we have our player and in this tutorial we'll just take off its movement and animation so and much of that will be equal to the to the little guy that we had before so we're going to open the the code of that little guy and we will copy to the code to a new script that I'll make which we're going to create now uh, click on the player 2 add component new script and let's call it player version 2 script and we will also want to let's open that script we also want to make the the new player move when you press the A and the D key so let's make that if Input dot get key get key key code D or key code A we will make both something happens else if the player inputs a D something happens and else if nothing is pressed something will open happen also and we're going to copy most most of this stuff that will happen from the other script if you don't if you haven't seen the this tutorial yet where we made this script I will put an annotation in here anyways whenever you press the key code A what we want is to change the visibility to the velocity of our player only the x velocity not the y the y will remain the same and we want the the scale of the player to to flip so that our player goes goes this way like this anyways we're going to copy these two lines then like i said you can see you can see the tutorial for that the link will be in the description and copy the same two lines of the D if you input the decode the key the D key code 
and else what we want to do is the same we want our player to stop moving the x axis like so now we have the other player we made this speed float speed variable over here and we're going to make the same in here so that our player will move according to what the, to the speed that we want let's set it by default to 5f but you can change it later on and right now our player should be moving let's see and he is but as you can see he is not animated yet so we're going to take care of the animations right now and to take care of that go you go into the animation uh, window if you don't have it here just go into window animation whatever and let's create some animations to the to our blue player player 2 idle which will be only this sprite and the sample put it at 15 I think 15 is fine we'll see that it's we'll see if it's fine later player 2 moving save and this one will be all of these sprites except for the last one which will be the breaking animation when the player stops moving and also change the sample to 15 and finally the player 2 stops which will be when our player go back to idle, goes back to idle it will first stop but because this is a one frame animation and it will happen very fast we want to make it we want to make it go a little bit slower so change the sample from this to free from 60 to free and now if you click on the player 2 idle that we have here and go into the animator window all the animations that we've just created are here and let's make the transitions we want them to go from idle to moving from moving to stops and from stops to idle again and make sure that the idle position idle animation is set by default because we want our player to by default do nothing of course and well how is he going to move well we will be setting a parameter here a bool parameter called moving and when that parameter is true well then our player will move and we can set that in this transition over here change the condition to be moving equal to true to make the player move to make the player stop set moving equal to false and this transition over here we won't change anything we might have to change this exit time though but for now for now it's fine and just like we did with all the other sprites that we have in here well we use the animator class to change that moving variable that we just created making our player move so we're going to create an instance of that class the animator class and set it equal to the animator that we have on our game object which is an animator and now well when when do we want our player to start moving in the well when he moves when he presses a or d so in this two if clauses let's make that happen so anim dot set bool and the bool we called it moving set it to true because we wanted to make it we want to make the player move here and also when he presses the D key we want also to make the player move and when nothing is pressed well we want that to go back to false so in the else change that to false and hopefully all should be working fine let's cross our fingers yep but still something is going on with the breaking animation because as you can see the player breaks and stays there for a long time more than what we want so just going to the transition between player stops and player idle and change it to something like 0.3 let's see if that works out okay our player passes through that animation for 
split second, which is exactly what we want. And before before we end up in this tutorial, we'll just be taking care of this box collider over here, because as you can see, our player is a bit on the air, so let's see. What, so in here in the Y, okay, when the Y the high Y has to be minus 0 0.3 in my case so that our player completely stands on the ground and as you can see our animation is working fine see you in the next tutorial we will be taking care of the jump